fans are lining up to see the latest celebrity chef. 11-year-old Jack Witherspoon is cooking up a storm at the HT Grill in Redondo Beach, California, and signing his new cookbook. I would say it's all good sorts of comfort food. It's just comfort food with my own twist. And I had lots and lots of good recipes, and I finally decided let's do a cookbook. Remarkable to become a chef and author at 11. More remarkable because Jack has been bravely battling deadly cancer since the age of two. All right, we're going to have to get the oven door for me. What we got through it and they thought we had it for sure. Then this past summer, June 1st, we went in just for a test and um, the doctors were so shocked they thought it was a mistake. Jack relapsed of his leukemia two times and after the second relapse he came to us at Mattel Children's Hospital at UCLA for a bone marrow transplant. This was Jack's only hope for a cure. Leukemia is a cancer of the white blood cells. For unknown reasons, the bone marrow makes a bad copy. It multiplies wildly, crowding out the normal cells. To survive, doctors at Mattel Children's Hospital UCLA must destroy Jack's entire blood supply and reseed his bone marrow to grow a new one. First of all, you have to find a donor. And we searched over 18 million donors around the world. And although there are several that could fit for Jack, we search at a DNA level. You can't get any more sensitive than that and find the very best one for Jack. Good. The unrelated donor match was so close it could have come from a brother, meaning fewer complications and a lower risk of rejection. Through the years, with so much time in hospitals, Jack became restless. I got bored of all the cartoons on the TV, so I went channel surfing and found the Food Network, and I really fell in love with cooking. Since age six, Jack has been collecting and creating recipes. Then came fundraising for cancer research and public appearances, including The yes. Tonight Show. Just as his cookbook was going to print, doctors were fighting for his life at UCLA. Mattel Children's Hospital at UCLA has been a leader in bone marrow transplant for over 40 years. In fact, it was one of the first places in the world where bone marrow transplant was performed. I love Dr. Moore. Uh, he really uh, made me feel great when, uh, when I was in the hospital, when I'd feel down and everything, and he'd come in, and it would just be amazing to see him and uh, lift my spirits, and it, he would just make me feel like everything was okay. Now in remission, just a few months after his bone marrow transplant, Jack has the world at his feet. There is a special visit from a mentor, the Bravo Channel's Chef Fabio Viviani. You know, unfortunately, sometimes uh, life doesn't take the path that we would love to take. Coming up with a book, with his passion, this is a, it's a celebration. The, the, trust me, he takes all the excuses away. If he can make the dishes that he makes, there is no reason for America to moan and complain about not being able to make good food. This kid is a rock star. You know? Truly, truly. And while most kids his age might be thinking about themselves, Jack has long been fundraising to help other children with leukemia, and he will be donating some of the proceeds from his book. So professional. All I asked for was a hug because he's such an inspiration, I can't tell you. We're really anxious to try some of the recipes. <laughs> I came because I think that Jack's an amazing kid and he deserves to get all sorts of publicity so lots of people buy his book and we can keep uh, putting money towards a good cause. I just hope I can help with as much um, getting, finding a cure and um, making uh, kids not have to go through what I had to and um, also just trying to promote my book too.